Previously on Next Level Chef. Go, let's go. We all have 45 minutes to create a next level Chinese inspired dish. I order Chinese. I don't cook Chinese. <laughs> Some very good dishes here tonight, but Pala, congratulations. <laughs> Mark, Chris, you both have one last chance in this competition. This is stressful. Which dish are you going to eliminate? The Italian dumpling. Fortunately, the Italian dumpling was prepared by Mark. Oh, boy. Tonight, you'll be cooking with game meats. I don't know what a partridge is other than it belongs in a pear tree. Game is one of the toughest animal proteins to cook. Get the dishes up, guys. Platform's here. Come on, baby. This is one big mess. Welcome back, everybody. Line up. Team Ramsey, we are down a team member. I do not want to make a habit of that. Got it? Yes, yes, chef. yes chef. Team Blaze, our journey, it's been like the platform, huh? It's had its ups and its downs, mm. but we are out of that basement finally. Good work. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Team Arrington. Yes, Chef. In the top, staying on the top. Yes, Chef. I'm so excited to be on the top level again today. I could get used to this. Can you keep that up today? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Sure. Shay, you had a rough time. To say the least. Just remember, we're not on Key West time in these kitchens, right? <laughs> today, I just want to get it on the platform without having to display any athleticism, because <laughs> Lord knows I don't have that. Timing has been my downfall this whole competition. I really want to prove to my team that I can do this, that I won't let the time get the best of me again. Now. I told you last time that things are about to get wild. Today, you'll be cooking with game meats. Yes. So. Game meat, like wild boar, elk, are not just for your local hunters. They're hitting the menus of high-end restaurants around the country. Game has to be cooked with the utmost care and intention. It can go wrong very quickly. And don't worry, you don't have to hunt it yourself. Thank goodness. It'll be right there for you on the platform. Briefly. <laughs> this will be your most difficult challenge yet. Yes, chef. I'm a hunter. You know, it's taught whatever you kill, you eat. So I better nail today. That's all I gotta say. Okay, Team Blaze, thanks to Chris winning the elimination cook-off, we're on to that middle level for the first time. When that platform comes down, I wanna see you running like a startled deer. Yeah, that's yeah. chef. Head to the elevator. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, chef. You got this, Team Blaze. No elimination today. Kitchen. I came out of the furnace in one piece. I am ready to win this damn thing. Hello, beautiful! Now, Team Ramsey. First time in the freaking basements. Let's make it our last time. Good luck. Head to the elevator. Off you go. Chef. Five pack, let's go. Five pack. Basement is not scary. Let's go, basement. Here we go. First time in the basement. Doors open, and I see the firehouse. I see where I learned how to cook, and I am not intimidated by the basement at all. I didn't get a cast iron. They got this at the Goodwill. I can't believe I have to make a meal for Gordon Ramsay in this kitchen. All the tools look like they've been chewed on by my dog. This is hideous. All right, team. Last time, Pilar's dish took us to the top spot, which means we're staying at the top today. Congratulations. Please head to the elevator, and I will meet you shortly. Thank, Thank you, chef. you, Chef. Good luck, guys. Let's go, baby. Back at the top. Let's do it. kitchen is a dream. Second time around, I feel really confident. I know where everything is. And if you want to leave me there for the rest of the competition, you totally can. Just a suggestion. Here we go. Let's go, guys. We're going up top. Listen, there's going to be all sorts of game on there. It needs aromats, thyme, rosemary, garlic. It needs that. Yes, okay? 
I do not like having Richard Blaze above me and Naish Arrington on top of him. We've got to get out of here. Yes, okay. Sure. Feeling good? Giddy, giddy, Great, I love giddy, it. I giddy. love the energy. All four of you, you're fantastic cooks. Thank you, Chef. We have the best team here. Let's get out of the middle. Let's yeah. get to the top. Let's go back to the top. The lighting's great up there. I know, I love it. <laughs> Yes, yes chef. chef. Game is one of the toughest animal proteins to cook. It feels good to cook in this kitchen. You get first pick of ingredients, and you get to work with the best equipment. Three, two, one. Teenager! Naisha, we're coming for you up there, girl. Stand by. Let's speak Gordon and Richard down there, OK? I'm getting over there today, baby. Use that six sticks God gave you. Yeah, I got to. All right, guys, here it comes. Go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Game meets. It's game on. I haven't never cooked with any game meats at all. Where I come from, we don't have those in the grocery store. Make sure you grab the protein you want. I'm happy that I get first pick so I can kind of strategize in my mind. Do I want to go with, you know, like a bird, like pheasant or ostrich? Or do I want to go red meat, like an elk or antelope? Think about fall. Think about flavor. But my eyes light up. I see a beautiful squad. I know if cooked properly, it could be a showstopper. Uh, Violet, what, what do you mean? Oh, 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 you mean? Two. One. Get back to your station. Think about your dish. All right, here we go. When it's green, it's go time. Let's go. Let's grab a protein. I, I'm looking and I see partridge. We have some great ingredients up here. And I'm like, I don't know what a partridge is other than it belongs in a pear tree. 15 seconds. Do you have a protein? Do you have veg? Oh. Fresh juniper berries, even if it's just for garnish. That's oh. 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 Hey. Keep dropping it. Yeah. Yeah. I see ostrich filet. I recognize filet, so I'm gonna grab that. Five, right here, four, right here. three, two. If you can grab it, it's yours. I got too many herbs, but you want some fresh herbs with these wild meats because you know they're in the wild and you want a nice little season. Oh my God, what do we leave down there? Stand by, guys. And go! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Definitely don't want to see alligator coming my way. You know, it's one of the hardest proteins to cook. Guys, protein, where's the protein? I need a protein. Up top, up top. Suddenly, I see the pheasant. It looks like a little chicken, so I'm just going to assume that it tastes like a little chicken. Five, four, three, two, whoops, one. Grab, grab, grab. Chef, well, well done. <laughs> Finny, is there anything left? 45 minutes start now, guys. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. Chef, I might have stained our apron, but it was for for good reasons. Amazing. Right, protein. What did you get? I got elk. Elk made it all the way down here. So you got the sesame ground elk. You doing like a sort of game meatball? Where are we going? Yes, albondigas with a berry jus. I love that idea. The point of me coming here was to prove to myself that I'm actually the badass that I say I am. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I love the idea of the meatballs. Thank you. Think about your presentation, yes? Thank you, Chef. If I'm going to take this all the way to the end and be the next level chef, well, I have to bring my best every day. I got this. Right, Vinny, what did you get? <laughs> Everything. Well done. <laughs> I'm going to make some fire alligator nuggets today. I've never touched, seen, eaten alligator in my life. Never. <laughs> There's not many of those in Massachusetts. If you see one, please call the police. When the... Nuggets. I'm gonna do a batter. Nice buttermilk egg mm -hmm. dip. Nice. Flour again. Yeah, good, really good way of keeping them nice and moist. All I know is alligator tastes like chicken. If you batter it and fry it, you are gonna win all day long. You hunt, right? Yes. How old were you first started hunting? I started first hunting when I was 12 years old, Chef. And I have about 200 pounds of venison sitting in my freezer right now. If I don't do well in this challenge, I am going to hear it forever. Good luck. We got this, guys. Let's push. All right, we got this. How do I go grab it? Oh, I got tongs with one tong. My tong is not tonging. All right, young man, what did you grab? Uh, I grabbed uh, boar. I've never cooked with boar. I've never seen boar. Don't know really why I grabbed it. I'm amazed that wild boar come down this far, by the way. It's a premier ingredient. Definitely didn't know that wild boar was apparently a really good meat. The secret in that wild boar is letting it rest. The sear needs to be gentle and it needs to be basted. Any aromats, any thyme, rosemary, garlic. Uh, we have fennel, a um, little bit of these herbs right here. I said grab the thyme or rosemary. There's lots of it on that platform, no? I don't like losing. I don't like being in the basement. Young Preston needs guidance. The guy can cook. But this is when we need to up our game. 
She needs to rise above the competition. Losing is not in my culinary vocabulary. Let's go, guys. We want to get out of this basement. Let's go. We shall. We shall. Wild game. Yay! It's game night. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, come to daddy. Oh, the herbs, yes. Oh, I'm feeling so good. Maureen, what did we grab? I got duck breast, and I'm very excited about that. Yes. I'm going to crust it in garam masala, do a turnip and truffle puree. OK. Garam masala, that's going to be perfect. My mom made it for my wedding favors, actually. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, we didn't know each other time. yet, so I'm not offended no. that I didn't get an invite. <laughs> I love my mom's garam masala so much, but this is the first time I've made it myself. We had tons of whole spices in our house, and our house smelled like garam masala for a very long time. All right, well, if there's any left, I'm going to grab a little pinch for, for dinner later. I feel destiny coming full circle, thinking about how proud my mom would be watching me cook their dish that I've never made before is letting me know that I can do it. Remember, we can go up or we can go down. We're not okay. going down again. I don't like it. All right, teeny. Nothing's teeny about you. So polenta's cooking. You got ostrich filet. Yes. This sounds like a restaurant dish. Have you cooked ostrich before? No. OK. I've never cooked with ostrich at all. Never even tasted ostrich. But that has not stopped me before. I haven't cooked half the stuff I've made here. And I've came out with some pretty bomb dishes. I have cooked a lot of ostrich before. My okay. first job was at a restaurant that, for some reason, signature dish was ostrich. Super, super lean. I know it's an ostrich. You think it's a bird? You can serve it mid-rare. I'm fine with cooking unfamiliar meats. <laughs> OK, there we go. The key with the gay meats is overcooking is the big, big, dreadful thing. Toughest challenge we've seen. There you go, Tini. Get after it. Here we go. Come on, guys. Let's keep our team up here, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Well, Lauren, how are you doing? Feeling good, chef. Let's get a little more color on your skinny fell. You want that beautiful crispy skin. Yes, yeah, Chef. Next level dip. Next level dip. Next level dip. Let's go. How you doing, Nori? Doing good, Chef. I'm happy. What protein did you grab? I grabbed a squash, Chef. OK, perfect. I'm going to do a lollipop confit, the legs. Beautiful. Being a professional chef, I feel like I really have to let that shine and let that show. So I have to do everything in my power to elevate my dish and to bring it to that next level. You need to get your legs cooking, OK? Next level dishes come out of this kitchen, right? First chef, yes, chef. The competition is heating up, and it's 250 grand on the line in a year mentorship. I want to be the next level chef and give my daughter the life you know, that, that she deserves to have. Let's go. Let's rock and roll, baby. 25 minutes left. Yes, 25 chef. minutes hurt. First chef. April. Be careful. Okay. Yes. Be careful. What's your game plan? I got venison. Amazing. I'm going to sear this venison here. And we're looking for like a medium, medium rare on this one. Yes. And day to day, I am very confident in everything that I do. Since I have been in this competition, I have been a completely different version of myself. It's been a struggle for me, but today I have my game face on. OK, let's get this venison yes. working soon. I want to impress Chef Arrington and show that I'm improving as I go. Oh, shoot. You OK, April? Are you kidding me? April, talk to me. Chef. Put it down. Just put it down. Turn the heat off. I'm trying to not let that fire get the best of me. But honestly, I'm freaking out. Don't cook scared, OK? OK. I got my finger. Medic! Step away. I wanted to impress Chef Arrington. I'm absolutely overwhelmed. Just put a bandage on. Wow, I, this is insane. April's brain is all over the place. I need April to be in the next level kitchen, executing that dish. Now she's almost taking her finger off. She's over there with the medic. I don't really know if she's actually going to get this done. Just under 20 minutes left, guys. Think about your plates. Guys, the skill is what wins today, OK? The yes, skill. Chef. What do you think, Chef? Mm. Mm. Delicious. Damn right, Chef. Right, what did you get? Wild rabbit, Chef. Wild rabbit, good. Wow, have you cooked rabbit before? I have not, Chef. OK. But you, I got a protein. You know what you're doing now, yes? Um, yes, yeah, Chef. I'm going to add the legs into the sauce. What's in here? I'm going to make a um, mashed potato puree. Good. I've never cooked rabbit. I've never tasted rabbits. I like rabbits, so I'm kind of sad. OK, all right, you got this. But I'm just going to have to make it work. Cassie, you got to move, girl. You haven't got the rabbit loin cooked yet, OK? And that right. needs to rest, OK? Right, Chef. What are these bits for? I was going to add it to the sauce, and I completely forgot about Listen, them. Listen, if you Should I add that into the sauce now? I thought we said we were going to use the legs of the wild rabbit yes, to chef. make the sauce, but you've yes, made chef. the sauce and forgot the rabbit, so 
I'm a little bit lost, Cassie. There you go. And Cassie, it would help you turn the gas on. It worked. I was trying to multitask and I don't know what's going on. My brain is so clouded with so many things. Is that your potatoes? Yes, sir. They're burnt, girl. Oh, God. You just your mash. It just seems like everything is going wrong at this point. This is one big mess. Just praying that I'm not the worst dish because I don't want to go into elimination. Do you have any more potatoes left? I have a few here. Damn. Come on, get them back in there. Let's go. I got this, chef. I'm sorry, chef. Come on. OK, guys, what goes well with game? Fruit. Yes, Fruit. sir. All uh, day. It's time out. for the mid-round mayhem. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Grab some fruit. What am I going to do with this? I don't want to waste time on this fruit. I don't even like fruit. You got apples. You got apricots. Then I see these dried apricots, and I'm thinking, that goes so well with wild game. Look at these pears. Oh, Figs. Let's go. What'd you grab? A plum. plum. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Let's go. Plums, cherries, berries. It's got to elevate this dish, all right? I'm thinking pear. How do I not go get a pear? A partridge with pear. Done. It's like it was handed to me. Partridge in a pantry? Oh, I got him. I'm ahead of you. Yes. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The mid-round drop is an intense moment. Figs all Get what day. you need. I want to see those fruits with that game. It's perfect. You blink, and it's gone. Let's go, guys. Yes. Beautiful. Venison tends to be very lean. See this? You want all sides roasted beautifully. Chef, I got no feeling in my head. I am a gangster. gangster. Don't forget. I love it. I, I am a gangster. I will never forget it. Pilar, how are we doing? Got a lot going, got a lot of work. Eh. Don't forget about your sauce reducing over there, okay? Yes, yeah, Chef. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Smells wild up here right now. Yeah. God, that's good. You good? I feel really good. Oh, Matt, you got this, baby. You gonna make your mom proud today? Absolutely. Are well, you making me proud? Let's go. Thank let's go. You. Chris? Yes, Chris, are we good? Yes, we're good. Did you just start cooking the goose? Is our, is our goose cooked? Goose is going to be cooked in a good way. Chris has got to cook a whole goose, and as usual, he's waiting till the last minute. It's brave or insane. Seven minutes left. Seven minutes hurt. Make sure the squab is cooked. Yeah. What do we have, chef? Buffalo steak. Yep. I have some potatoes. I'm making it on foie sauce. Sarah. Oh, foie sauce, beautiful. Yes, chef. Don't you have a wedding coming up? I do. Thinking of my fiance today. Yes. He loves steak up foie, so. Beautiful. This and you is need for to him. win that cash prize to pay for this wedding, right? He'll be very grateful, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I am making this dish in honor of my fiance. He has been by my side through everything. I want to make him proud with this. You don't want to overcook this. And I advise you, when I say the platform's here, the platform is here. It's not going to happen again, I promise you. You can do this. Yes, chef. You want to stay in this top level kitchen? Yes, chef. Yes, yes chef. chef. Cook like it. Let's go, guys. Tucker. Chef. You're way behind right now. Her chef. I don't get my meatballs quite in the pan as soon as he would like. Let's go. But my dish is fire, that's for sure. I have no doubts about that. I think you put too much cream in here this time round. OK. Now get that through a sieve. Yes, Chef. Guys, let's go. Bring it home. You OK, Omi? Yes. Make it nice. 45 seconds, Shay. Heard. Run, run, run. My hands are shaking. I'm thinking about time, because that platform is not going up without my plate today. Platform is moving. We're shaving it to the end, Chris, man. You always, man. Platform's arrived, guys. 20 seconds to go. Here. You gotta move, okay? Yes, yeah, chef. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on, come on, Cassie, let's go. Cassie, you gotta go. Five. Let's go. You gotta go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh, man. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Platform's coming. Let's go. Get the dishes up, guys. Platform's here. Platform is here. Let's go, Shay. Five, four, three, two. Other side, other side, other side, other side, other side. Oh, my God. I know not getting my plate on the platform is grounds for elimination round. How did this happen again? So I'm in trouble. I can't believe this is happening right now.
It wasn't at all how I wanted it to come out. I'm frustrated with this individual because they are so talented. But tonight, they did not bring their A-game. I know I could have done way better. Like, this is not the best dish I could have produced today. This is a wild rabbit. My heart has never sunk so low. I am going straight to elimination. Do not pass go. No chance I'm getting out of this one. Wow. I said get your game faces on, and boy, did you need it. But there are some beautiful looking game dishes. Shall we taste, Richard and Aisha? Yep. Should we start with the basement? Brace yourselves. This is a alligator nugget finished with a medley of the forest and then a beautiful quince puree. An alligator nugget? I mean, it's delicious. Would I have liked some ranch dressing? Sure, but I love these nuggets. 
amazing way to be progressive about reinventing the way alligator can actually be enjoyed. I put my heart and soul into that dish, and I knew that I was gonna kill it today. I never thought I'd be talking in such a positive manner with alligator. I thought whoever got this tonight would be going home. The person who cooked this is definitely not going home. They're delicious, they really are. This is a roasted pheasant finished with a caramelized fig. Yeah, I mean, I like that it's sort of a rustic, almost home-style presentation on it. Unfortunately, it's really searching for some sort of jus or sauce. This is take on a meatball with sausage and ground elk. Visually, it's not the prettiest dish, but it's got Swedish meatball sort of vibes, which I think is smart with elk. Meat's undercooked. The saving grace here is the sauce and those cherries, because it is definitely a winning combination. This one is wild boar, set on a plethora of vegetables, garnish, white asparagus. To me, the boar's overcooked. All I'm getting is this dried herb flavor that's really overpowering this dish. It wasn't at all how I wanted it to come out. I'm frustrated with this individual because they are so talented. But tonight, they did not bring their A game. I know I could have done way better. Like, this is not the best dish I could have produced today. This is a wild rabbit served with sprouts, white asparagus, and a sort of creamy, lumpy mashed potato. Looks how it tastes, just bland and forgettable. And this is heavily under seasoned. I'm lost for words. The mashed potato is awful. The makers of a great dish, excuse the pun, but a rabbit in the headlights. I know I can do better than this. I don't know if it was the basement, but I'm in here just trying to do my best. But today just it wasn't a good day for me. All right, should we head on over to the middle? Shall we? Please. We'll start right here with a pan-roasted ostrich filet with a creamy polenta. Smart move with the polenta. This is delicious. This is the type of dish that is comforting, right? This is a way to elevate a game meat, but it's not presented too preciously. I really appreciate that. Great job. It's either go big or go home. There's no reason to doubt me. We have here a pan-roasted goose with wild mushrooms uh, and a beet goat cheese puree. Goose is a tough bird to nail. It needs to be cooked more skin side down because underneath it's cooked on the flip side up, so that part's gone dry for me. I would have loved to see the skin a little bit more crispy, but the potatoes and the texture of potatoes were phenomenal. Okay, next up we have partridge and a pear tree. So this is a spatchcock roasted partridge. Love the glaze on top. Beautiful. Maybe just a little bit less cook on the partridge, but great color. We have here a garam masala dusted duck breast wow. with a fig and berry sauce and a parsnip black truffle puree. It's a really gorgeous plate. Wild duck cooked beautifully. The puree, absolutely. It's elegant, velvety, rich, delicious. Garam masala, truffle, the puree needs to be bottled, advertised, and sold. They want to bottle it up and sell it. I actually don't know what to say, <laughs> sorry. Delicious. In fact, delicious. Shall we move to the top floor? Yes, please. please. First up is our venison loin, roasted baby carrots, fondant potato, and a butternut squash puree. We need to put it back in the field. It's raw. What happened? So this chef actually had an accident in the kitchen and cut themselves. By the time they dropped the meat, it was uh, a little too late. What a shame. Besides it being a carpaccio and raw, the vegetables are under seasoned. This competition is a very difficult playing field. You've got a makers of a beautiful full dish. It's a dream. It's a shame it turned into such a nightmare. So right now, I just want to turn around and run out the back door. Next up, we have the guinea fowl, served with an apple salad with a blueberry port sauce. Cooked beautifully, crispy skin, moist, and the puree, the garnish, it is next level. Wow. I love the presentation. It looks like the fruit is sliced really thin. It looks like it fell from the sky. Next up, we have a white tail filet served over a potato puree with a charred collard green salad. Wow, taste that mash. That's delicious. The puree is just to die for. Next up, we have squab and a crispy purple potato with a pan jus. Squab is delicious. Color, temperature, absolutely nailed. I love the attention to detail, even Frenching the leg on the bone. 
I cannot believe their remarks. Chef Ramsey, he's like, it's delicious. I feel so good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I just don't feel good. I feel like I look like a idiot. What happened? I just really wanted to get an awesome dish on the plate, dedicated to my fiance, and I totally botched the landing again. You just gotta pray, because this is just not how I wanna go home. Unfortunately, this did not make the platform. Damn, what is it? Kind of this rustic play on a bison strip steak, delicious peppercorn sauce, roasted potatoes, and beautiful Brussels sprouts. It's a shame, because the ingredients picked there is a basket of magic. It's just a shame it didn't come together properly. I'm just very disappointed in myself. Our team is really talented, and I hope one of them could save me from going into the elimination. I'm not ready to go home. That was a tall order. Some of you brought your A game. Some of you were a little bit deer in headlights. But right now, we need a moment. Shall we, Naisha, yes. Richard? Sure. Thank you. I was totally freaked, man. Uh, I've got to talk about that garam masala with that wild duck. That was exceptional. I didn't think I would love it as much as I did. It was really, really impressive. Naisha, the squab. It was so perfect. Yes. Every single time he steps in that kitchen, he steps in stronger. Definitely next level, definitely restaurant quality. Listen, it pains me, but alligator nuggets? Yeah, no. <laughs> Big shock. Really smart way to cook such a delicate protein. Listen, the good news is there are a lot of highlights, but we do have to talk about the lowlights. Cassie, the wild rabbit was out of her league tonight. The mashed potato, she struggled massively. Disappointing. And then that wild boar. Was the toughest, driest thing that we tasted across the board. Very tough. Yeah. It's a good chef. He knows how to move. He's just doing too many things. I got you straight to the freaking elimination. Naisha, here's the thing. I know you had to play the Mr. Platform for the first time this season. But that venison was so raw. It, it, it was inedible. I mean, you Absolutely. couldn't even cut it. Yeah, but listen, I mean, a Miss Platform is a Miss Platform, yeah. right? I mean, that's just a no-go. No, yeah. but that dish was raw. To be honest, I would love to put both of them in at this point. That's the hardest challenge you've ever had. It's okay. You should have made for me. On the whole, these dishes were impressive, but only one can keep their team safe from elimination and move them to that amazing top-level kitchen. That dish was... I'm always the underdog, not the fastest guy, not the best athlete, but... Today's my day. 1,000% best winning dish today. We're going to the top again. The wild duck. Congratulations. Yes! Let's go! Congratulations, Woo! team yes! mates. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well done. Oh. I'm so happy. I feel so proud. Go ahead, put your feet up, and uh, celebrate a job well done. You, chef. Being on this competition chef. is my opportunity to show my mom how much of an influence she's had on me when it comes to cooking. I accurately represented myself, my cooking style, and my creativity. Thank I don't you want so to see. much. Thank you. All right, you know what that means. Unfortunately, Gordon, Naisha, you'll have to pick one member from your team to head into the elimination cook-off. I know it's not easy. Gordon? I fully believe that I had the worst dish on my team. I hate this feeling. Like, I don't want to be put in this position. And I certainly don't want to go home today. I know this individual going to this cook can pull this off because they are competitive. I'm freaking out right now, and I'm just praying they don't call out my name. I'm going to put Cassie in the elimination. That dish got the better of you. If I asked you to make mashed potatoes, in 15 minutes, you would do something 10 times better than you get me. Something as small as a potato costing me the challenge, this is the nightmare. I want to see you back at your best. I'm going to put every ounce of energy I have left in my body into this dish. I'm ready to fight for my place. OK, Naisha, it's your turn to choose someone to head into the elimination. There are two dishes from my kitchen tonight who deserve to be in that elimination. I have one that didn't make the platform. And I have one that is absolutely raw. Today should have been an easy day for me to have a really incredible dish. It's not all gravy on that top level. It's not. Let's 
gonna be the rule, no? That's wrong. That's wrong. I cannot tell you how upset both of these make me. I'm so bummed out that his plate did not make the platform. But if it doesn't make it to the platform, not only do you jeopardize your dish, but you actually jeopardize the creations of everyone around you. And you know, I'm here equally for both of them, but how do you consciously put such a raw piece of meat on that plate? I mean, frustrating is an understatement. So the person I'm putting into the elimination is So the person I'm putting into the elimination is... Shay. Shay, you're a good chef. Your flavors are impeccable. It's not enough, though. I know, it's chef. two times in a row that your timing was off. You need to kick it into second gear. Yes, chef. Cassie, Shay, both of you will have one last chance to save yourselves. We're taking you out of the forest. We're going farm to table with a beautiful rack of lamb. Both of you will have 30 minutes to make a perfect next level lamb dish. Cook with intention up there. It's serious. Do you got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. OK, the rest of you say goodbye to your teammate. Head to the elevator. If you did it once, you're going to do it again, all right? You're going to kick his butt. Cassie, uh, young lady, you need to bring it. Yes, Chef. Don't take it lightly. Multitask and get in the zone. Shay, I'm proud to be your mentor. Thank you, Chef. Go up there and win it. Absolutely. All right, both of you head to the elevator, and I will see you up there in the top level kitchen Come on, shortly. Cassie. Come on. Good, Good luck, guys. Good Come luck. On. Let's go. Focus. Yes, Chef. Love you. No, I love you so much. Oh my hand. Oh my hand. Oh I'm definitely a competitor. I know that's why Chef Ramsay threw me in there. When it comes down to the wire and it's one on one, I know that that competitive side of me is going to come out. Hello, my love. Let's go, baby. Going into the elimination, I've got a fire now. I'm not leaving this competition without a fight. And I know Cassie will give me a fight. How are we doing? We're doing good? Doing big, good, big moment right here, right? Yes, Chef. Cassie, been here before, right? Yes, Chef. You think that's going to serve you well? Yes, Chef. I All think right. that gives me an advantage. Shay, you've had trouble making it happen in 45 minutes. Now you have 30. My timing is not going to be an issue. I know I can cook lamb. Can I cook a whole rack of lamb in 30 minutes? I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous here. Deep breath, baby girl. Deep and go. Let's go. Yay! I like it. All right. All right, there's a lamb. OK, mustard and lamb. That's a classic combination. I decide I'm going to make a pistachio crusted lamb with a side of mashed potato puree. It is not my day for potatoes, but the only way is up. I'm thinking of searing the lamb chop down first, and then I'm going to go ahead and brush it with mustard and then crust it with the pistachio. Finish okay. it in the oven. Right, okay. I like the idea. It's going to take time, so let's go. Lamb is not something that I cook often, but I know with these elimination challenges, it is so crucial to cook that protein perfectly. I need to get the protein on the pan first. Everything else I can worry about as that lamb is cooking. The lamb racks, if you're leaving whole, it's going to take 15 or 20 minutes. You got this, Kathy. You're working like a boss right now. All right, Shay, you're off to a quick Hi, start. Chef. You got Thank your lamb. Thank you. Got a pan Doing a little up. spice rub in honor of my mom. She always puts cinnamon in everything. Probably the most under-respected spice in the savory game. I agree. My mom's side of the family is all Lebanese. We eat lamb. I know these flavors. Can I execute it? Hell yeah. It's a cooking competition, Shay, right? Yes, chef. Okay. All right, let's, let's start cooking. Come on, Shay. Shay's not moving as fast as he should have moving. If he wants to stay in the competition, he has to bring the heat. Shay, you look like you're going home today. Come on, just look like you're actually... Here to win? Yeah. Listen, you're trying to keep yourself in the competition, also keep your team out of the basement, right? Yeah. Shay, what else is going on here? You got the I'm lamb. making a mint tzatziki. You got these potatoes diced. These are going to go in the fryer. Get those potatoes on. It's going to take a minute. Yep. 
I'll watch them for you, baby. Come on. I know that my teammates are there to support me, but I really just need them to keep the freaking time for me. I do not want the clock to run out on me again. Drop them down, watch them. I'll let you know when they go. Over eight minutes gone. Get the lamb in the oven. You got to get it in the oven. I tell you, this is going to come down to whether that lamb is cooked, right? Get it in. Throw that it, thing in the oven. It. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Yes. There you go, Kathy. Beautiful job, Chef. OK. We got lamb in the oven. Now we need to bring this dish together, right? Yes, Chef. They're soft? Almost. So All right, good. Right. Eat your rice, sir. That's going to be for your potato puree? Yes. OK, that's a crucial part, OK? Crucial yes. part. Use those muscles. My hand hurts. They're hard. <laughs> well, they need to be cooked. No, it's more okay. Then. But sometimes the ricer and then like some cream. The ricer will help. It. Don't scorch your cream. That's melting with that butter. Pretty sure. Oh, when you're doing so many things and under so much pressure, you're just second guessing everything. Go easy with the cream. Don't make it too loose. Chef Ramsay already crucified my potatoes earlier today. This puree needs to be perfect. Nine minutes left. Puree vegetables. Okay. It's a little lumpy. You need more milk and butter in there, okay? Yes, chef, yes, chef. How are the potatoes looking, okay? They're good. You still, you're not there yet, but almost, I'll give you a shot. Right. Come on, Shag, base that lamb. Pull it out. Woo! We do not want raw lamb. Is he going to slice it now? No, no, don't, no. Don't, don't. 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 I do not want timing to cost me the competition. This lamb has to be cooked perfectly. It's wrong. Breathe. Too rare? Okay, we do not want raw lamb. I'm just gonna sear it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Real quick. Quick, 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 yeah. Five minutes left. I see that Shay's lamb is not cooked all the way through, so I'm thinking, let me just check mine. Yo. It's raw. She's gonna have to sear it. Too. She's gotta sear it too. Now they're both toe to toe. Yeah, playing field. Okay, that wasn't even rare. That's raw. Raw lamb and Gordon Ramsay, right? Okay. This is not good. I know that I can win this elimination challenge. I've won one once, and I can win this one as well. Come on, Cass, you got this. How are they looking? Perfect. Okay. Let's go. All right, two minutes. You can play. He's oh my God, they're plating. They're plating. Let's go. Let's go. Big, beautiful dishes. Bring it home. Bring it home. The best, too. The best, the best too. too. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. What, you know what pretty food is. Come on, put it together. 20 seconds left. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. One, four, three, two, one. Stop. Yes. Yes, Kathy. Yes. I love you. I love you. I'm feeling pretty good about my dish. Thank God the lamb is cooked through. It's looking pretty, it's smiling back at me, and most importantly, the flavors my mom taught me are right there. He did well. He did well. I think they both did it. I think they both did well. Chin up. Chin up. I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> I know. I know. You did really well. I'm really proud of what I put forward today. I'm confident that lamb is cooked perfectly, and I'm hoping that's enough to bring me to the next round. It smells good. Gordon, Naisha, it was an intense cook-off up here. Yes. The first here is a pistachio-crusted lamb with a potato puree. Lamb's actually cooked delicious. We're going to cook this lamb. It's beautiful. I've got a big problem with those mashed potatoes. They're so freaking lumpy. The lamb is cooked beautifully. I love the pronounced garlic flavor that's coming off of this condiment. For me, this is the type of dish I want to eat for dinner. Okay, our next dish, this is a Lebanese-inspired lamb chop with a tzatziki sauce and some chili-tossed potatoes. Visually, it looks good. I have to appreciate the beautiful caramelization on the lamb. I love the spices on the lamb. Uh, first off, lamb is cooked beautifully, whoever cooked that. There's a little taint of something slightly burnt, um, a little bit raw fat on the outside, so I don't know if it's insufficient time in the oven, but it's a good dish. Tzatziki, lovely, vibrant. Uh, it's fresh which is rare for lamb. All right, so two successful lamb dishes, but only one is going to save the chef who made it. Which lamb dish are you going to eliminate tonight? The dish that I am eliminating tonight is the lamb with the carrots. Gordon, that's one vote to eliminate the pistachio-crusted lamb. 
I can't take this. Both lambs are good, so this is a tough one for me. The lamb I'm going to eliminate is the one with the pistachio crust. No! No way! Gordon, Naisha, that dish was created by Cassie. Cassie, young lady, you know that's the second time I've got lumpy potatoes. But let's get one thing clear. I picked you for a reason, and this is just the beginning of that journey. I will not forget that noodle dish. <laughs> well done. Thank you, chef. Great job, Cassie. It's been a pleasure watching you cook. I love you guys so much. <laughs> great. Today, I just, like, was having a really off day, and I think I just let it get to me. I love you. I love you so much. I didn't get as far as maybe I wanted to, but Chef Ramsey chose me to be on his team, and that in itself is a huge accomplishment and something that I will be proud of myself for forever. I can't take a chef to the next level if they can't cook a perfect mash. We're down to four members, and we're back in the basement. This time round, they better understand that we've got to move up and we've got to stay out of the elimination. Otherwise, we're down to the final three. I'm not going to accept that. That was a very tough challenge. Understand, it's a competition, and it's only going to get more fierce. Understood? Yes, yes chef. chef. Good night, guys. Great nice job. Chef. Well done. Good night, Chef. Vinny Nuggets. Vinny Nuggets. Vinny Nuggets. Vinny Nuggets. Vinny Nuggets. Vinny Next time on Next Level Chef. Name them, tell them what they're cooking. Uh, this week's cook won't be a cruise as you infuse oh. a dish with oh. What would you do with bourbon? Drink it. <laughs> We're going to stay up here? Yes, yes Chef. Yes, yes. Keep Gordon Ramsay in the basement. Moonshine, it's explosive. Stand back, stand back! All right, everyone, listen up. It is time for Mid Round Mayhem. I don't know what to do with these. You just bought your ticket right into elimination.